There was a time when one grew up in a refined way that kind of tempered how you evaluated the decorative arts. Mrs. Mellon, through much of her life, could have afforded whatever she wanted, and that didn't mean she wanted the biggest or the most sparkly. There was a freedom. I think it spoke to a, a woman who had great self-confidence. If there was a common thread, it was fine craftsmanship. It was beautiful jewelry, beautifully made. Things that reflected her interest. She could wear jewelry no matter what the occasion, including gardening. There's a bunny brooch, you know, a little diamond bunny eating a carrot. There's a carrot brooch with green garnets. There's a wonderful kind of gold and diamond bracelet from Van Cleef Arpels that are repeat almost chrysanthemum blossoms. There's this great little charm bracelet. It's all about a gin martini. There's a wonderful little espalier apple tree that Verdura made for her. It has little ruby beads as the apples and then its branches are splayed out as they would be against the wall. For someone who is a wonderful gardener, it was a very pretty piece to have. Verdura had people like the Mellons, the Rockefellers, the Whitney's, the Astors, his clients. Verdura used to refer to Mr. Mellon as his patron. I think they had similar sensibilities. They both came from very elevated backgrounds, not just money, but an understanding of fine art. A lot of the inspiration of Verdura's things were of Renaissance influence. There's a wonderful rhinoceros object. That's inspired by the statue in the center of Piazza Minerva in Rome, which is actually not a rhino, it's an elephant. One of my favorites is the leaf box. When Verdura first came to America in 1934, he was fascinated by the fall leaves because in Europe they don't have the dramatic change of color in the leaves. What moved Mr. Mellon to buy wasn't the idea that it was a 10 or 20 carat diamond or a big ruby or sapphire emerald. It was because it was beautiful. He particularly liked color and what Verdura was all about was color. The leaf box, the espalier apple tree, and the pomegranate. They're not your traditional jewels in terms of what people think of as jewelry. There is also the most incredible, vivid blue diamond. And it's mirrored by a fancy blue diamond. The vivid blue diamond is the most important. It weighs 9.75 carats, and it's fancy, vivid blue, and it has the jewelry world, those who love rare gems, standing on their heads. It is the bluest diamond I have ever seen. Mrs. Mellon was iconic in her way. These were people with great taste, tremendous resources. They didn't have to impress anybody. All of us should try not to be influenced by that on the outside. Just buy what you like and what makes you feel good when you're wearing it. <laughs>